Yeah. So those 10 million JetBlue points were great, but actually also a massive headache. <laughs> JetBlue locked my account because of it, even though I got them legitimately. And I had to go call support every other week for six months, got escalated to an agent, was waiting on hold forever. Every single time that happened, I got someone who still couldn't answer my question. It was not very fun, honestly. And even though we spend $400 billion a year globally on customer support, I'm pretty sure every single person in this room has a similarly bad customer support experience. The, that is what Assemble is going to fix. We are making customer support much, much better. And actually, let me show you what it should have sounded like if JetBlue used Assemble. Welcome to Assemble Airlines. I can't log in. I can see how that can be really disruptive. Have you tried resetting your password? Yeah, but uh, and I'm actually locked out of my account. Okay, I understand. I'm going to transfer you to a supervisor who is authorized to look at the lock of care fee, neutral. Notice a few things about that. One, I actually got a pretty good response the first time around. 80% of all those types of issues would have been solved by a password reset. Our AI is getting better every single day. We're adding new integrations. We're adding new tools. That's where most AI startups for support stop, though. They end right there. But the place where you actually have the most big difference in your brand comes from the times where you actually need to escalate to a human agent. And that's where Assemble shines. We build two products. One is AI automation to basically get you something faster. Two is workforce management, where you could get a human agent much, much faster. We build across chat, voice, and email for all of our AI automations. You configure it once, and then it's ready to go on all three channels. The other thing we do, if you can't actually get your, get your problem solved by AI, we help you figure out how to get to the right person at the right time. This is a constraint optimization problem. We forecast your demand and figure out where to schedule people so that you can actually get there. I'm pretty sure also that most of you in this room have actually used Assemble. If you've ever placed an order on DoorDash, perhaps, we've powered their 20,000 support agents with workforce management. Or if you've ever gone to Etsy or made a design on Canva, we power their AI copilot. And we're growing really fast. Every single year since inception, we've doubled our revenue. And now we're in the tens of millions for workforce management. But way more exciting, well, maybe not way more exciting, but very exciting, <laughs> is our AI revenue. Since November, when we added a single salesperson at a tiny bit of marketing, we've 10x that revenue. And a lot of this success comes from our culture. One of my favorite assembled cultural values is called get on the plane. We go to our customers. So next week, I'm going to Berlin. We've, but the past few weeks, we've been to uh, New York. We went to Manila. We went to Bogota. We go talk to our customers because that's where the problems are. And one of the really cool things about that is by learning from our customers, we've been able to realize how do we actually reduce the rope manual work that happens with support agents and uplift them so that they can do the things that only humans can do. We're hiring across basically everything, uh, especially software engineers, especially AI deployment strategists. Please come talk to us. Uh, Joe over here is our head of engineering. Come find us. If you want to text me, my number is 630-699-2227. Please uh, come say hi. Thank you.